Hey guys, this is Akhilesh. Today we are going to learn about indirect function. So here we have some sheets like for India, we have sales and budget for each quarter. And likewise, we have for Saudi, UAE, Kuwait and Oman, Qatar. Okay, I need to create a summary of all the countries for sales and budgets. Now one way is that if you simply click equal and click on India, then click on this cell that will give me India sales. Similarly, I can go for budgets of India and that's India budgets. Okay. So what I'm doing is India and B6. That is what I'm using. And here India and C6. I change India to Saudi again B6 and C6. Okay. Same goes for every country. Linking manually is not the right solution because what if there are 50 countries in the data set? So what we should do, look at this. The link is the sheet name, then exclamation and B6. Okay. So what if I generate sheet name from here, then, then exclamation and then B6 and close the bracket. So ultimately it is going to give me same thing, India exclamation B6, what I used to get from the link. If you see here, when I click this cell, this is actually giving me same thing. But when I generate it by concatenating two, three elements, it doesn't give me the required result. So the role of indirect function is to convert a string into a reference. So the string we have generated, but it is the Excel is not treating it as a reference. So if I place indirect before this formula, then Excel will treat it as a reference and you can see it will give you the result. So for budgets, what you can do, you can say indirect for India, we will use this cell, join it with double quote exclamation and c6 and close the bracket and now if i move them down they will use different different sheet names and the reference will also change and hence it will give us the values which are there in those sheets just to verify uae is 59 million uae is 59 million budget is 68 million so budget is 68 million. So indirect function has reduced the manual work of linking to each sheet for sales as well as budgets. So all we need to do is whatever you get in the normal linking. Okay. Try to think of the ways to get this text and then use it indirect outside that text. So you need to use the sheet names from some cells. You need to use the cell names and the exclamation marks. Okay. Now let us make it a little bit more complex. Let us try to generate this summary. So in this case, our country names are here and we want to get the quarterly sales for each country. And again, what will be the cell for quarter one? It will be B2 cell. Okay. So if I just click on the first one, India quarter one. Okay. And you can see the text we need is India exclamation B2. Okay. So India we can get from this cell and exclamation we can put it in double quotes. B2 we can put, but the problem is quarter two will be in B3. So we cannot put B2 directly. So what we can do, we can put like this exclamation and B because B will be common Two will change to three and like that. And here, let me take it from this cell. Currently it is empty, but I will put those numbers. Okay. So currently it is India exclamation B, but then I will put two, three, four, five and two, three, four, five. Now you can see it has generated B2. And I will use indirect 
and close the brackets and you can see it is giving me the data so before copying it to other cells we need to freeze some portions of the cell so that when we drag it down or left to right the reference doesn't move so in case of c2 or sheet names will always come from row number two so we need to freeze only two in case of b because this is a text between the double quotes it will not change while moving so regarding a3 only column a should be fixed okay two three four will need to be changed so here we will put dollar before a and when you press enter now you can try to see and move it right also and within like within a couple of minutes you are able to generate the summary otherwise if you go manually it will take a lot of time to link you can verify the numbers india 1388 1303 here 1388 1303 let us verify ua also 14707 15035 14707 15035 okay so indirect function helps to convert a text string into a reference hope you found it useful please like share and follow and subscribe to my youtube channel